there was a lot happening with the Echo Alexa kind of thing this week with Amazon. Um, one, I noticed an upgrade and I didn't have any time to go through it at the time to my Fire TV. Um, I don't know how useful that's going to be because I don't have the remote. I have to actually pull up the app in order to use it. But I got to like kind of see a little bit of the Alexa kind of a- interface. So have you been looking, Mr. Home Automation Chilla at uh, <laughs> Big Ass Bank, um, have you been looking at much of these? Um... So, so I've been looking at them and, and I was, I was uh, I'm interested in, I, I can't, I, I can't get my hands around the price of the original Echo. Right. So these are, these are mini Echoes. So we have the uh, Bluetooth Echo. The, you have the dot and the tap. I'm sorry, the tap. We have the tap and the, and, and the dot. And, and the dot the dot's just like a hockey puck right and the tap is a smaller version of the echo a little bit smaller speaker and to ask it questions you have to hit a button so it's not a hands-free thing you actually have to go hit a button for it now is, is this i felt like this was something that we get in conjunction with the original or or it, could i pick up any of these and then have alexa ca- capabilities i think you could pick up the dot mm-hmm well, you yeah, you could pick up either one of them, and you're going to have those type of capabilities. It's the, from my understanding, the tap you actually have to tap the button mm-hmm. to get it to answer, and the dot you have to have external speakers the, hooked up to it. The the dot is interesting. I, I have no idea if it can function on its own, but the only way you can order it is through one of the original Echoes. Yes. Oh, what? You, you, so <laughs> so maybe so that maybe that may be a question that that has already been answered. Um, because everyone who will have a dot will have will have one of the original Alexas sitting in their house somewhere. Hmm. Or you can get it via the Fire TV. Oh, okay, okay. There's an exception. So the, so the Fire TV with the voice thing, you can order it right. through there. Right. So so I can. Now I can pull up the app and I can do it. And now there's an right. Alexa app you can actually get for the iPhone that that will. Um, it looks like it caches all of your your your, your Alexa inquiries, I guess. Because it, 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 it'll say, you know, it'll say, hey, such and such and such and such. Check out more information on the uh, Alexa app on your phone. And if we go to it and actually have and the I, app and here. I think they're doing I think they're doing that because there's limited quantity of the device that they actually built. Because mm-hmm. the very bottom of the article that you posted, it says no word on when the dot will be available for everyone to purchase. But it's important to note that it does work on its own without the full size echo. Ah, OK, there you go. OK. But but we don't want to give it to all of you yet, apparently. Yes, it's probably it's probably has to do with let's give it to people that that already have something and so it, it keeps the ordering down. So this is this is going to be embarrassing. Uh, so this is this is if you're on video, um, the you know welcome uh, Amazon is excited to bring Alexa to Fire TV. Blah blah blah. You can access Alexa and other Fire TVs will get access to Alexa soon. Mine have mine's the original uh, TV. And I was messing with stuff, and I was like, yeah, okay, uh, 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 hey, you know, <laughs> uh, kiss my wife, it's on my to-do list, uh, uh, add recycling bags to the shopping list, something I've been neglecting, uh, what kind of movies can I ask about was something I asked, but it says it, it couldn't find the answer to my question. I was trying to figure out, because I know there's kind of, um, you know, some interesting stuff you can ask. I'm like, what is there to do in Columbus, Ohio? And it read me a lot from Wikipedia. Uh, what is the Arnold Classic? You could have just asked me that, actually. Well, yeah, <laughs> I did on Twitter, actually. So. <laughs> oh, I missed. It. Okay, my bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, I, I think I did. I, you know, I was asking about Nashville because I want to be going there next month. You know, uh, there's some. I mean, so all all my inquiries are actually in here, and I can pull up more information on my app, <laughs> and which I I think you know is kind of a nice interface, especially you're talking about like something the Alexa or the Echo. I'm sorry that has no interface mm-hmm. like the audio is about it right and there's nowhere to okay i can't tell you more but i can show you more on the web in this article or this card or something and, and you get something like this and i think it's kind of a nice it's kind of a nice interface for it uh to to kind of add on i asked them how the penguins were doing they didn't do well that day um <laughs> and, and you have a nice history too like oh what was that thing Oh, I asked Alexa that the other day, and you can pull up the app and, and, and see what see that is, and and it's kind of a nice kind of history, a voice history that's not creepy like what what, what Google did there. Um, so I, I don't know what I don't, what, what do you guys think? I'm in because I'm interested in the automation side of it. I'm in, I am interested in in the dot. Right. Like I would find that if I could have it behind me, 
either in I'm looking at it from a kitchen perspective or in the office perspective. Hey, remind me to do this in the kitchen. You know, how many ounces are in a cup? The, like all those types of questions remind or add add something to my shopping cart that I'm thinking about, especially because because of work and stuff like that. I'm constantly going on and adding stuff to my cart to then go back and decide mm-hmm. if I really want to pick it up later or I'm going to use it. So so I don't know. It's a uh, I'm interested. I I just couldn't I couldn't stomach the the price of the the full Echo, and I feel like this is this kind of gets me into nice that halfway entry point. point. And then now you're using your Fire TV was a hub, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, which is smart because I can play around with it. Oh, they can do that. But it, it if I have to pull up an app to make it happen. It's no different than Siri. It's actually more cumbersome than Siri. Just like going into the Google app to do Google search is more cumbersome than going to Siri, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, so it's 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 a nice gateway for something like that. I'm like, well, it'd be nice if I had this thing over here in the kitchen that I can just say, hey. So do you have to touch the button for the puck as well? I don't think so. No, that, that one is hands-free? That one is hands-free. Okay. And I think it's actually rechargeable. Okay. Oh, just toss it out. I'm gonna be working in the basement today. I throw the puck out. Now I got now I got my friend to talk to, right? Or you could have it read you a book. <laughs> I mean, you could have it. You could have it do all kinds. Of, you could have it play your music. Mm-hmm. It'll play Audible from there. Um, it it would be it would be cool to be able to extend what I mean the the Alexa that I have sitting in the living room. Um, mm-hmm. uh, and and we find more and more uses for that all the time. But it would be cool to be able to extend that to another floor. Uh, you know, John mentioned the kitchen, and, and certainly uh, our, our Alexa is like right there. So we, if we yell at her loud and she responds appropriately, we can hear her from the kitchen. But 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 like upstairs, there, there are I, I, there are a number of uh, instances uh, whether we're talking about like in the office or or um, uh, you know just having one up here on the second floor. I think I can I can already think of things when that would be helpful. Hey, set the thermostat to sixty eight degrees because you're going to bed. All those yeah. kinds of yeah. things. It's, kind of cool awesome what about you katie hey sorry <laughs> oh where'd you go <laughs> i think you lost me hold on one second okay Come back don't talk to, to me about anything i obviously don't know what i'm doing <laughs> <laughs> that's fine um all right uh so so uh, go check that out uh, let's say they're not available yet or you can only purchase them or pre-order on i think on... you can order the tap now and you can order the dot but it only if you, you can only order the dot from the echo okay so you have to tell alexa over the echo to order you <laughs> to at least like put it on the shopping list right <laughs> yeah like there's no other way in <laughs> isn't that a, that's so weird it's so weird it's almost like it's like an aptitude test on whether you deserve to have this thing <laughs> isn't it maybe and <laughs> maybe that's really how they're doing thing. it because maybe there's they found out there's a learning curve to, to certain feature yeah. functionality and they're right like, well if this person can't figure out how to order it then they don't deserve to have it Amazon's not looking to make money from this necessarily, so 